guys, Megan here at Retrite. Um, we're going to walk through how to embed your YouTube live stream channel into your Retrite WordPress website. I made this video a couple months ago, and since then, YouTube has changed their layout. So I had some clients that were um, getting stuck. So I thought I would do this one again um, with some of the new settings. Um, this way is actually much easier anyway, so it works, <laughs> works out better. Um, so this is our watch live page on our WordPress site. So you'll see here, this is actually where we want our live feed to go um, so that when we uh, go live, we are right here and you don't have to change the uh, stream every time. So we're gonna get into our YouTube channel. So I'm on mine. We're gonna go um, into our settings down here. We're gonna go to advanced settings. And this is our channel ID. So this is what we need um, that anytime we go live, um, your channel ID is how the feed um, gets to your website. So I'm going to put the um, this URL that you're going to need um, in the comments of this video, just so that's helpful. Um, but you're going to need to copy this. And then I'm going to open up um, this window here, this youtube.com slash embed slash blah, blah, blah up here. Um, at the end of this URL where it says channel equals, this is actually what I'm going to put in the comments, but this is where you will paste in um, your channel ID. So I just pasted that channel ID and then I'm going to hit enter. And then um, this is my feed. So obviously I have nothing going live or anything. Um, I don't have anything scheduled, um, but I'm getting a black screen, which shows me that I'm on uh, my channel feed. So um, then I'm going to copy this whole URL, okay, all the way to the end. And then we're going to go into our reach right site. We're going to edit this page and go into cornerstone so that we can change the video feed here. So we'll let this load. And I'll put all of these links, of course, in the comments so that if you're doing this on your own, um, you'll know how um, to get that done. So I'm going to click on this video. This was my uh, old video. So right here, we've got all this HTML code. So I know you're not a developer, so you may not understand any of this, but what we're needing to do is right here where the HTTPS starts all the way into the end of that. So we're keeping the opening quotation marks and the end quotations. If we take either of those away, this will not work. So we're just copying from the H all the way to the last um, number here in this specific URL. But then I'm just going to paste in my feed there. And you know I've changed nothing else. And then this is my channel feed here. So I'm going to save this. And then obviously, if your channel, the next time it has a video, I'm getting an error because obviously I have nothing scheduled. But if you had a scheduled live stream, um, so let's go back into our channel here and I'll show you how to do that in case you haven't done that yet. We're going to go up to create and we're going to go live. I'm going to go up to stream. Access live stream, verify your phone number. See, let's go verify. All right. Verifying your account. Yes. Text me a code. You want to come with me to get water order? Yeah. All right, so my YouTube account is verified. So see, this is even something new that I hadn't done before. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Go live. <laughs> see, you guys are learning with me today. Oh, we're going to be ready in 24 hours. Awesome. Okay, so, so in 24 hours, we're going to come back and we're going to continue this video um, so that I can show you how um, to go ahead and schedule some streams. So catch me back tomorrow. Hey, guys, thanks for hanging in there. It's been the 24 hours, and so we are activated and ready to go live. So I'm back into my YouTube channel. Um, when you when I first opened it, um, it gave me the options to um, stream with OBS software or use my webcam. So depending on you know what you are doing uh, for live streaming, 
you'll want to click whichever option best fits you. If you're going to use streaming software, um, then go ahead and set that up and get that linked in. It'll kind of walk you through that. If you're using your webcam because you're using an iPad or a laptop or something, then you're just going to hit um, hit click that button. It literally popped up with a window and gave you two options. So um, click whichever one you are going to be using, and then it'll kind of walk you through how to set that up. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm on manage. Um, so we're going to kind of set up a stream, um, set up a uh, future stream. So I'm not going to go live right now. Um, you might want to do that if you want to test how things are working. So feel free to. Um, but if you're just going to go ahead and schedule your Sunday service just for every Sunday, whatever time you're going to go live, then that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go up here to schedule a stream. Um, we're going to create a title. So um, you can obviously put whatever you are going to call this. It can be the title of your sermon. It can be the date. It can be whatever you need to call it. So I've already done one for the 13th. So that was my tester while I was not being recorded. So now I'm going to go ahead and do um, the following Sunday. Um, this needs to be, you know, make sure this is public. I want it to be private. If you want to add a description, type whatever you want in here. This does not really matter. This is kind of the tag that you're in. So um, this is only for your purpose. And then I'm obviously choosing the date here and then the time that you will be going live. And you'll see why this is important in a minute. So we're going to go live. We'll just say 10 a.m. And I'm just going to put that. No, it's not made for kids. So I'm going to create the stream. And it's about to drop that right in here. So here's my second um, stream. So we've got December 13th, December 20th. Um, if you know you're just obviously going to be going live every Sunday, you might as well. You can go ahead and log some in there just to get that done. All right. So um, you can change the thumbnail in here, which is nice in case you um, obviously have a logo or something that you want to use. That would be here. So here's your thumbnail where you can drop a logo in. We'll go grab something here. Let's see. Where are my, let's see where my logos are. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to take this generic logo that we have, pop that down here. We do want to make sure at the very bottom, you'll just want to make sure allow embedding is checked. This is defaulted to yes, but just you may want to just double check that so that we make sure nothing's happening there. All right, so um, I remember we already added our stream um, embed to the Gram website. So... I checked this earlier and as you can see, it brings up my first stream. So this was the thumbnail that I put for um, December 13th. So when you hit play, it's going to say, hey, we're live in five days. OK, so as a website visitor, I can set a reminder so that I get a notification right before church goes live so I don't miss it. But then every Sunday, obviously, you know, um, on the uh, 20th, then that other thumbnail will pop up. So it'll be the different photo. OK, so your stream is ready to go. We've got two streams that are set and ready. OK, so that really is it. Pretty easy peasy. The biggest issue, like we talked about in the first video, is really just um, getting that channel ID. But I'm going to put that in the comments. Um, obviously, you can email me if you need some more help. I'm um, getting that set up, but I'm glad we hopefully figured this out. <laughs>